Okay, so um, I have uh, begun a project. I'm about, in terms of time, I'm probably only about 10% of the way through it in terms of absolute time, but in terms of how much work I need to put into it, uh, I'm probably, it depends on what comes next. I have no idea. So what project am I talking about? Why am I being so cagey? So this project is called uh, The Book of Silvered Leaves. It's not really a project so much as uh, what John D. and Edward Kelly were to make, but specifically John D. I mean, he was he was driving the boat. So this book of silvered leaves, uh, Aaron Leach gets into it. And I want to give him credit here in this book called The Enochian Saga. Maybe uh, the exploring the angelic journals of Dr. John D. So in it, he talks about. Let me see if I can turn this around here. Nope, can't do it in the mid-frame. Oh, I've already got the video going. So um, basically what D was to do was he was to make a book of silvered leaves. And the exchange is, as I qu I'm quoting here from, it's, it, it's from Aaron Leach's book, but it's he's quoting the journals. And he says, uh, D's journals. And he says, but this you shall do, dot, 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 can't read what it says, utter part, bind up 48 leaves whose skin shall bear silver, whose perimeter shall be 30 inches in length eight, in breadth seven. So I've already uh, made uh, those pieces of paper. They look like this. And behold, I've also seen to it that on both sides, they bear silver. And bearing silver, it doesn't mean that the whole thing needs to be silver. It just means that it is carrying, it is bound up, it is connected to silver in that way. So I've done that. I've done that 48 times, both sides. Um, and then uh, D goes on to ask specifics. And then he asks, well, what shall I do after I cause the 48 leaves to be bound? And uh, he goes on to say that basically the book needs to be um, put together, uh, and then it needs to be locked up in a room for two weeks. And it says here that um, you're supposed to invite the angels of the Lord after those 14 days, uh, wherein you shall invite the tables, uh, the angels of the Lord. Now, it doesn't say necessarily whether you're supposed to do it before or after, because he's just saying wherein in other words, the 14th day of your rest, even this tablecloth and none other. I'm guessing that is re in reference to what ought to go over the holy table. But back then, of course, uh, the angel, by the way, is Ma Mapsama. It's abbreviated maps here, but it's Mapsama uh, or Mapsama. I'm not sure if it was, you know, that, har that short A or a longer A. But at any rate, uh, wherein you shall invite the angels of the Lord. And again, I don't know if that's before or after the beginning of this 14. I'm probably just going to do both just to be on the safe side. Um, when I got it in my mind to make this book after um, Aaron Leach described it in his Esoterica episode that recently came out, um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I got I got it in my head to um, to do it. Well, and I, I forgot where my train of thought was going. <laughs> At any rate, um, so my thinking is is that after I have finished binding the book, um, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, uh, you know invite the angels of the Lord then, and then close it. I think I remember what I was going to say now. So um, the angels were specific. Um, Mapsama was specific to me that this ought to be that the astrology of this time would be very obvious. And Venus is actually applying to an exact trine to my sun and moon. And it is also conjoining my, nat my natal Saturn. I'm one of those, you know, the, well, it's, we're getting, lapsing into astrology talk. Anyway, tomorrow and possibly even right now, but we're, the sun is, you know, it's conjoining my, uh, it's, it's right now conjunct my natal um, uh, north node. So what does that mean? It means that you know, my natural tendency to, you know, take in as more than I actually can is amplified. So, you know, hence I've taken in, you know, a big project and I'm bringing it to completion. But also the 
tendency to do um, hard work, it's actually favored at this time because Venus is applying to my natal Saturn. And it's also in trying to the whole identity thing because it's um, in an exact trine and applying exact trine at that to my new moon. That's what all that means. So, um, you know, who I am is benefited from this. Um, and surprise, you know, that's what happens when you work with angels. They help you out. And they actually have uh, specified when that all of this should go down. So of interest is that... Um, this will uh, culminate or be, be, be done with the moon. The moon right now is in Aquarius. Tomorrow it'll be in Pisces. But in 14 days, when I'm supposed to open the door and then who knows, get started on what, um, the uh, moon will be in an opposition, or excuse me, in a, it, the moon will basically, the moon right now, will, tomorrow will be applying to an opposition to Venus. So that it, it, it's, a, it's basically a good sign. And then it'll sort of culminate to that same position and be in a trine to my, you know, sun and moon in 14 days. So that's another positive thing. You know, I'll be nourished by uh, the pleasant thing that I engage in tomorrow. That's what that sort of a very quick interpretation of that is. So, um, just very briefly here, it says that the heavens may justify your faith and you may be comforted. For man is not worthy to write, that shall be written. So basically, the book is not supposed to be written by man. And I am taking... I'm ooh, getting spooky without the light in here. <laughs> so um, my plan for the... My thought on the, on the book is this. And I could be wrong, so this is we're we're definitely in Cliff speculation territory here. But my thinking is that the book will that the effect of this fourteen days, where I'm literally just supposed to rest now. That's I think that means rest from the angelic work. I can't just take two weeks off of work. I mean, I guess I technically could, but that's not going to happen. Um, but I am going to rest from the usual Enochian labors and just tend to the other things that I'm supposed to do. And I think that's what they're referring to. So if no part, let me get that quote right, uh, man is not worthy to write that shall be written. So this could just be a sanctification process whereby, okay, now that the 14 days have happened and you've, you know, your faith has been justified and all of that, and I may be comforted, then after that, okay, I'm comforted because now I'm sanctified, I'm worthy to write down what is ever is to be written down. Uh, another possibility is that, and, and somewhat related, possibly, and not not mutually exclusive uh, possibility, is that I may um, have a vision in the silver. So why do I say that? Because after at the end of the Avermelon ritual, which I've completed, uh, you are to look at, a, you are supposed to have silver handy and basically look at it. And I've probably described this in a previous video or previous discussion, but it was definitely like if you've ever seen a, fla a flashlight just or, you know come into your eyes and then go off like that afterburn on your retinas for a little while. It looks blue to me. Um, what that what I expect with that is uh, with this ritual is or sorry getting back to Avermelon. What happened as you know the the holy guardian angel full knowledge and conversation got unlocked, HGA, you know, presented uh, himself, all of that. Uh, what I noticed was when I looked in the silver was it looked just like somebody had like, you know, blinded me, except instead of an like my whole eye being out or whatever, it was more like a neon light, very bright neon, let's say sign, electric sign went off. And the what was after burned, as I saw it in the silver, in, and it was specific to the silver, it wasn't everywhere else. It was when I looked in that, that is where I saw my holy guardian angel's sigil. So all of this is to say the book was right. It was right there and it all kind of worked. Now, what I anticipate with this, and you know, getting back to my original point here is that it's entirely possible that man's not worthy to write it. And so the angels write it in that silver. In other words, they make it appear and we're not, you know, the human being is not to write it per se, but rather the human is to copy it or transcribe it. 
So that's sort of the, you know, that could be like a slight workaround as well. Or it could be like, you could interpret it both ways. Like, okay, human being is sanctified, therefore they're worthy, but they're worthy to copy or to, to only write what is already written. I don't know. I haven't done this before. I don't know of anybody else who has done it. That's not to say it hasn't been done. I'm just saying that I think it's entirely a possibility. So um, it's pretty cool. So those of you who have been following me know I have um, made the perfected copy of Libra Loga, but this is the first time that I know uh, that, that I have like very little bearing on what this is to be like. So I'm going to, my plan is with my setup here is to take, um, this is my, you know, table. I'll just zoom out. This is Libra Loga is to just put, um, stack it so that, um, Libra Loga will be in the middle. This is after I've activated the table and all of that. I'll probably do call and call one and two, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, just, you know, uh, sit here, all of that. But what I'll do is I will um, put the book down first, you know, Libra Loga first, I should say, because now we have two books, uh, the Sigillum Dei Amoth on top of that. And then on top of both of those, or on top of both those, I'll have the, the cloth as usual, as if I were to scry or do, you know, any other actual angelic working. And then on top of that cloth is where I will um, make the, uh, or I will place the book. And then I will skedaddle for two weeks, you know, make sure I have everything I need out of this room, close the door behind me, not go, not go in for two weeks. And then after the two weeks, um, I will have two pens uh, at my ready, and then I will see if anything's to be written in those books. My guess is that there will be, um, that if there is something to be written, there will be a lot, or at least enough to fit in a seven, an eight by seven um, piece of paper on each side, so that's 96 pages worth. So my guess is that this will go be a, perhaps a one week, perhaps a seven week um, revelation if that's the case. If not, then um, it may just be, you know, if, if not seven weeks, then one week in which, okay, write everything down here and, you know, put it in the, put it on this side and go keep doing that for uh, seven leaves worth or 14 pages. And then eventually all 96 would be done at the end of the week. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, this is going to be take some time. So I can see why the angels might require two weeks worth of rest in advance. Um, interestingly, the whole operation would be nine weeks. And for those of you who know Enochian, there are certain numbers that pop out. You know, eight is not as important as the number nine. 18 is kind of important, but 19 is almost more important. Um, as is the number 21. And um, I've already gotten some hints from the angels as far as what's going to appear. Um, you know, the first being a set of 19 symbols that are supposed to relate back to the Enochian uh, letters of the alphabet, all of that stuff. So um, I'm going to, going to do the work, try to like condense out what's not important, what is important in terms of the updates that I send out. But nonetheless, this is uh, kind of exciting for me. And um, then after that, I will probably do a book of supplication, just trying to round out all of what the angels originally asked Dee and Kelly to make. Um, and basically, that's all I can do. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not from the 16th century. I have ne never been to England, anything like that. So all I can do is really rely on um, the works of a lot of other people who have done a good job um, condensing this and also try to work as best I can and, of course, rely on the grace of uh, the angels and, of course, the creator, the divine, in terms of, you know, getting results. And so uh, that's all I have for now. So this is probably a, uh, an overly long video, but uh, so, oh, yeah, the usual thing that I do with the... Um, the when I'm making a book, when I say usual, this will be the second time I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to put all of these leaves in a scrapbook because guess what? Once they're in the scrapbook, they're not going anywhere. They're bound. Okay, 
So I've already, uh, one of the first things I did, the scrapbook and the extra uh, things came, uh, sleeves came in later. So as you can see here, uh, I'm just gonna put them in there. Now this is, these are eight by eight. And of course, if you have been paying attention to the video, um, the actual pages are seven by eight. I'm deciding mentally whether or not I'm going to um, uh, place or, or tape off the sleeves because it's a sleeve. I mean, it's bound in there. It's not going anywhere, but it's not how tightly is it bound if you got that extra inch in there. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to get started in that. And just so that I haven't done everything early, I'm going to leave one page um, unfinished. And then tomorrow when I get up early, I'm going to um, put in that final page, tape it off, and then go into the uh, room and begin some of the initial work, inviting all the angels. I'll, I'll probably just do an impromptu prayer after doing calls one and two. And um, and then I'll go from there. I will, I may scry Lil in advance, you know, before I do, before I make the, and then, um, Actually, that I should hold off. Uh, D actually has an invitation to the good angels, and I actually copied that down. So the, the method, in case you're trying to reproduce it, and that's the only reason I'm kind of going on with these videos, is to, is will be, will be to uh, make calls one and two. I will go ahead and possibly scry Lil in advance, because that takes consciousness way up. Um, I will, uh, you know, this is all, of course, after activating the furniture. And then once I have done that, I will go ahead and make the invocation to the good angels. Um, so yeah, no pressure. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will keep you all up to date as far as what the results are. All right. Bye.